Hey you guys, it's your girl T. So I want to come on here and talk about this crazy story that's once again coming from our first favorite state, wretched ass Florida, okay? So what's going down in Florida now is that the other day there was a video of a woman burning a car and it was going viral on social media and there was a $5,000 reward. People were trying to figure out who this woman was. She had set this man's car on fire. The man claimed that he had no idea who this woman was. I want you guys to go ahead and check out this news clip. Check this out and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. Well caught on camera, police need your help finding the woman that you see right here setting fire to a Clearwater man's car. You see her doing it there. There's a $5,000 reward if you can help, only ABC Action News reporter Cameron Polam spoke with the victim, and he has this exclusive story on this. I have no idea who she is. I've never seen her in my life. Thomas Jennings is looking for answers tonight. Who's the woman caught in this surveillance video setting his car ablaze? Jennings says a roommate woke him up Saturday morning to the chaos. He came running in the house telling me my car was on fire. So we immediately ran out there. He had a pot of water just trying to get it to go out, and it just was it was too much. Jennings quickly checked the security cameras surrounding his home and saw this. A young, well-dressed African-American girl first checking out this Ford Explorer, then making her way to Jennings' Honda Civic. In the video, the woman is seen lighting the rear of the car on fire and appearing to fan the flames. She was throwing in some sort of paper or something like kindling. To make the fire go more, and then she just walked off. According to fire investigators, a rag was lit on fire and put in the gas tank, causing the flames to quickly spread. They also believe the woman was carrying some sort of flammable liquid in a beach bag, determined to turn the car to ash. Everything was gone. A sign now sits in the front yard offering a hefty $5,000 reward to whoever turns this woman in. Investigators aren't sure if it's a case of mistaken identity, but for Jennings, who's now out at least 5000 bucks himself, one thing's for sure. It really is frustrating, especially not knowing why or who. In Clearwater, I'm Cameron Polam, ABC Action News. All right, so you guys just saw that news clip. So after that news story went viral, the woman has been caught. Her name is Carmen Chambly and she is 19 years old, okay? So the reason why she was doing that is that she did not know that white guy at all. She assumed that the car belonged to her ex-boyfriend, okay? So instead of burning her ex-boyfriend's car, she burnt the wrong man's car and now she is facing charges. Police in Pinellas County, Florida say this woman was so mad at her ex-boyfriend, she decided to set his car car on fire, but she got the wrong car. Cops released this surveillance video on Facebook hoping to identify the suspect, and they have. 19-year-old Carmen Chamblay was arrested and charged with second-degree arson for intentionally setting the Honda on fire. A security camera caught the act, which allegedly shows her tossing the trunk's contents into the flames. Cops say they found a rag in the gas tank that was set on fire. Her bond was set at $10,000. She reportedly told police she wanted to get back at her ex-boyfriend. Cops say the car's real owner told them he's never met Chamblay. If this ain't a damn case of when keeping it real goes wrong, I don't know what is. This woman is an idiot, point blank period, okay? The fact that she would burn a car on a busy block, you know, what if the car would have exploded? What if people's homes would have been destroyed? What if somebody was killed walking past the car because the car just decided to explode? You know I'm always thinking of the damn big picture, but it's just the point anything could have happened. What if the, you know, the fire trucks didn't get there on time to put out this blaze? And then the fact that this man is out of a car and he had nothing to do with your stupid issue with your boyfriend, and now you're about to go to jail because you want a revenge. And the sad part is she didn't even take revenge against the right person. She took revenge against an innocent person. And now you're about to have a criminal record. You're gonna be sitting your ass in jail. And meanwhile, while your ex-boyfriend that you're so mad at has moved on and he's probably with another girl. You know, so the whole situation is just a hot damn mess. I'm gonna need people in Florida to get it to damn together, okay? It's bad enough to come up with a plot to burn your ex-boyfriend's car, but it's even worse when you burn the vehicle of a person who's innocent who has nothing to do with the fuckery, okay? This whole situation is just re-damn ridiculous. And of course, it's coming from our first favorite state, Ratchet ass Florida. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this ratchet ass story coming from ratchet ass Florida. Let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. Hey, you guys, it's your girl T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.